The next topic of discussion is Google hacking. Now, Google hacking can help us narrow our internet searches down to a manageable number. It can also go after very specific terms and dig those out from thousands of websites. Google hacking, basically, the term comes from using Google itself, the popular search engine, to develop more defined, refined queries that return a more narrow set of results for us. Instead of 50,000, we might just get 1,000, for example. And they will be more relevant to what we're really after. We could use multiple search terms in the window uh, in a normal internet search and get back thousands, hundreds of thousands of documents. But most of them will focus either on one particular part of the search term. You'll very rarely see one result back that has every single search term in there. You might see a couple here and there, but it usually won't be what you're looking for. So we actually use Google's search language, if you will, keywords that are there, operators and so forth, to get more specific information out of Google. Now, it really isn't focused specifically on hacking. It just came into being because hackers really were the ones who really first understood how to use Google search keywords and search operators to drag out specific information. You can use these search operators in your daily normal internet searches and be just fine. It really is not hacking focused. It's just that we typically see Google hacking associated with hackers because they're the ones who are really using it. Now, you use these keywords and these operators, and basically they can help you sift through thousands of documents to find very specific information about the search term that you're looking for. And these operators will help you look in web URLs themselves, also in the website titles. They'll help you find directories, sensitive information, and so forth. You can even find particular documents, like find all PDFs on a site, or find all Word docs on a site, for example. Now, basically, you're using these operators to narrow these search results down. And there's a couple out there that we'll talk about. There's all in URL and in URL. And all in URL means I want every single term that I've typed in the search, I want every single URL that has all of those terms. You can also narrow it down to just some of those terms by saying in URL. If I said I want VTC.com, it would find all the pages that had VTC.com in the URL. You can also look in the title of the website. There's all in title and in title. All in title basically gives you the search term in its entirety that's located in the title of the website. And obviously, in title has some or parts of the search term in the title of the website itself. So typically, you might use a search term and get information back where your search term is uh, located throughout the website. But in title and in URL are very specific in that it has to be in the URL or in the title of the website. And that can help you find things a little bit better. And basically, how these queries are constructed can be a little bit problematic. So that's why we use something called the Google Hacking Database. The Google Hacking Database is hosted in several different sites, and we'll look at one of them in the next session when we do our demo. And basically, it already has search terms built, search terms constructed, such that you could go ahead and build your own term and find the information you're looking for. So you can actually get a little help there. There's also a lot of websites out there that show you, that tutor you in how to build these queries. So I would definitely recommend taking a look at those. So the different operators you might have are all in title, which again, all of the search term will be in the title of the website. You also have in title, which means parts of the search term will be in the title, not necessarily all of the search term. You have all in URL and in URL. All in URL means that the entire search term you typed in, and it's usually a URL itself, has to be located in the URL of the target website, whereas in URL means parts of the search term can be in there. You also have info, which tells Google to bring back uh, the information about the search term, and it lists you in a condensed form the information it can find. You also have related, and related will tell Google to find websites related to your search term. Then you have link, and link will tell you the list of websites that actually link to the search term. So let's go ahead and look uh, at Google hacking a little bit. We'll do this in this session and the next session. Okay, we're at Google here, and the first thing I want to do is we saw how many web hits we got when we just did a search on VTC or Virtual Training Company. So let's do all in URL, and then you put the colon there, and then your search term, no spaces. And let's say uh, 
btc.com. And this gives us all the sites where the term btc.com completely is in the URL to the website. So anything you get back should have btc.com in the actual URL. And this includes the LinkedIn site. It includes uh, any other sites like here. This website is reviewing uh, vtc.com, so it has the entire vtc.com URL as part of its URL. And if we did a search on just in URL using that term, we would find the various parts of it in there, and that might give you a much broader search. All in URL tends to narrow it down. Now, obviously, we saw how we had over 77 million results a while ago when we did uh, just a search on vtc.com, but now we've narrowed it down to 187,000. So this gives you a little bit more of a narrow search. In our next session, we'll cover some of the other operators that we find and use with Google Hacking.